Hi, Chuck here. I thought I'd try my hand at the Magic Rodin coil. Um, I did it slightly differently though. Um, I used a cylinder. I uh, didn't use a toroid. Um, this is actually a um, tuna fish can, uh, 12 ounce. Uh, the bottom and top are cut out. Uh, it's surrounded by uh, magnetic tape. I, ha I, uh, I haven't um, hot glued this yet, so um, I still have the pins here. These are pins every um, 10 degrees. And it's wired in the rodent style with two uh, circuits. Um, each are uh, nine turns of 26 gauge wire copper enamel and I wanted to show something unusual unusual here uh, oh so basically this is a metal here um, so it's a ferromagnetic material Th thinking that uh, the magnetic field will uh, spin longer and um, possibly be stronger um, so I have this uh, 555 chopper circuit and um, scope here. So I'm going to show you what happens when I turn this on. Um, the waveform rings. So I don't know if this will come out in the video, but um, like there's a, a pulse happening at these times from the 555 chopper circuit. It's a narrow pulse, and the remaining amount of oscillation here is from the coil just ringing so if I if I uh, um, go to a faster uh, speed here you can see that it is a dampened oscillation but it reaches a certain amplitude and then pretty much is stable until the next pulse arrives so possibly the magnetic field uh, keeps spinning here uh, around the metal and um, the coil is picking that up and just ringing. Very cool. Um, if I boost the current um, you can actually kind of hear the uh, the frequency of the um, uh, of the uh, pulses. These are square wave pulses, a DC only. So. That sound is just from the, the vibrations of the wires and so and on the cylinder. Uh, now another experiment is I'm going to hook up um, a voltmeter uh, to the second circuit. Um, so this is sort of behaving like a one-to-one -one transformer because the turn ratio on both sets are the same. Um, however, um, it's not really like a transformer because the, uh, the windings are not uh, next to each other. But th um, So it's not really an efficient transformer, but um, there is a magnetic field spinning here. So um, when I flip... And this is run off a 12 volt battery, by the way. Uh, and the duty cycle is very uh, much less than 50%. It's, um, you know, like a 10% a duty cycle or something. Um, anyway, flip this on, and you can see uh, there's like 1.1 ish volts peak to peak. Um, but the interesting thing is uh, I can switch this off. And you can see it kind of spins down. So the magnetic field's kind of still spinning there for a little while in the metal. The coil is still picking up energy as it spins down. There's no power applied. So um, bottom line is with with metal here, the spin uh, that's induced in here 
uh, continuous for quite a while. Uh, so it so basically you were altering the time constant, and uh, um, so it's like a flywheel that that gets sp spun up, and even even if you kill the power, um, it still keeps going. I have more experimenting to do, but this is uh, tonight's findings. Oh,